What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, everybody. Acolyte Episode 5 is in the books. We just watched it. Uh, got off an epic stream with Coach Nick and I, joined later by Valiant Renegade. Five hours, okay? Five hours of breakdown uh, discussing this episode, which I will label as the least shitty episode that we've gotten in the five episodes so far, all right? This is the least shitty. Still shit. All right, let's get that out of the way. It is still a bad episode of television, and mainly because this damn story is all over the place. This story can't figure out what it wants to be. The characters just do whatever the hell it is that they want to do. There's no rhyme or reason to any of the motivations. People are just wandering around doing stuff. I was discussing this about coaching. Look, I'm just going to drop spoilers throughout this entire thing. All right, so if you don't want to be spoiled, you know, check out, come back after you watch, and you can hear my thoughts about it. But, I mean, you have so many different just characters doing whatever the hell it is that they feel like doing in the moment. You got plot convenience after plot convenience after plot convenience. That's what this episode really is. It's plot convenience the episode. What do we want these characters to do? We're not going to try to set it up with any pre-moves, any dialogue, nothing. We're just going to have them do it. Even if it doesn't make any sense to their prior actions, nope, just do it. All right? Even if, like, for instance, a Jedi gets slashed in the leg with a lightsaber and falls down, all right? probably should be bleeding, or even if the wound is cauterized, he probably should be injured severely, and he's like, I need help. No, I could just get up and run through a forest because the plot needs me to do that. So I get up and I start running through the forest. And then even when they stop and say, hey, man, you're injured. No, nah, I'll be all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's the kind of storytelling we're getting out of Leslie Headland. All right. We're getting um, May. I'm again, spoilers all throughout. Don't even trip. I'm just, I'm just spoiling this thing. We got May. Just switching allegiances back and forth, and you don't understand why. Like, why is she switching allegiances? And at the drop of a dime, just like, oh, all right, I think I'm going to be a, a bad guy again. You know, it's like, wait, didn't the last episode you say you was going to turn yourself into a Jedi? And then, like, five minutes of story time later, without any explanation at all, now you're fighting a Jedi? Like, or, you know, it's like, come on, guys. They take the audience as chumps and suckers. And believe me, there's going to be plenty of chumps and suckers. Oh, my God, this was a phenomenal episode. They're going to be doing all of that crap because they just want the jangling keys. They just wanted a lightsaber battle. And let's talk about the lightsaber battles that we got. Now, look, we said it throughout that five hour epic, you know, breakdown. They had moments in this. That's what makes it the least shitty of all the episodes. There were some moments. All right. Moments that, hey, that was pretty cool. But a moment is a moment. It lasts like maybe five seconds, 10 seconds tops, and that's it. You still have another, you know, half hour to fill. So, yeah, they give you a few moments that were cool to look at. But in no way is this even close to, you know, Duel of the Fates, which is what they were saying. We're, out, we're trying to outdo Duel of the Fates. Nah, y'all didn't come close to that. Man. Not even. So, yeah, it's just basically the entire episode is mostly plot conveniences, um, characters doing whatever they need to do because the scripts tells them, hey, I need you to be this way. Now I need you to twist and turn and do this. Even Kamir. All right. Now, we already talked about it on the, uh, on the on the video I did. We already talked about it on the video I did yesterday. Kamir, the, the Sith Lord, reveals himself. All right. With, again, a nice moment. You know, when he kills one of the characters, Jackie Lon, the little chick that uh, Osha was falling in love with, you know, kills her up. She has a nice little, uh, like, blade that he pulls out of the hilt of his lightsaber and pow, pow, pow. I was like, oh, okay, that was dope. I, I like that. But still, all right, here's the issue. This guy is still a terrible villain because all the times he had to kill people. All right, man, you want to kill May? Kill May. You had opportunity to kill May. You didn't kill May. You know, he's just letting people live. He's doing this long villain monologue with his lightsaber to May's head. And he could kill her at any time. Saul has thrown his lightsaber down. I mean, this is the nonsense that we were getting in this. And I'm like, they're going to really do a villain monologue right here? Yep, they sure are. And then he's going to try to explain all of the actions and why he did this. But he didn't. He still didn't explain anything. He just monologued for no reason at all. It is some of the dumbest writing you've ever seen. But like, like the conveniences just are insane. They don't stop either. 
like the entire beginning of this episode is this lightsaber battle where all of these Jedi are getting cut down left and right. They're all battling it out, right? The same Jedi that were right there at the end of episode four that all got blown back. They're all battling it out. They're fighting for their lives. Where the hell is Master Soul? We don't know. We don't know. There's no reason for him to be gone. He should be right there with the rest of them. He was in the center of that thing. Somehow, I guess he flew a little bit further than everybody. I, I mean, I, what happened? And this guy is just fighting everybody up. He's killing Jedi left, right, center, left, right, center. All right. Osha's still there. Osha's still there. She just got kind of thrown away, right? The little flick. She was thrown away. All those other Jedi. And Soul's the only one that's not there. Why? Oh, because he needs to make this heroic entrance you know, when May is about to get cut down, or excuse me, Osha's about to get cut down and killed. He needs to make this heroic entrance. After after May, this is the craziest thing, right? Look, I can go on and on about this episode, but this one part was everything I needed to know to know that this was going to be a shit episode. So, plot convenience again. Osha takes off running in one direction, away from the melee. She's trying to escape. And, you know, then all of a sudden, after she's ran for a decent amount it's not like she ran like three steps. She ran for a nice, decent amount. This lightsaber comes flying up from behind her, you know, because Kamir is chasing her. So this lightsaber comes flying up and whoo, 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 it's cutting through trees, cutting through trees. And then that's when Saul jumps in, blocks that saber blow right before it cuts Osha in half. And so this is far away from the action. They've been, they've been running for a minute. They have been running for a minute. And he blocks the saber, saves her, right? And then... Here's the convenient. This is that this that was one convenience. The second one, Yord pops up out of absolutely nowhere. Out of absolutely nowhere. Again, he was in that melee where he just got cut down with his leg, takes a lightsaber to the leg. He's laying on the ground. He's about to die before uh Osha shoots um Kamir with the uh, with the stun gun. Finally, you know, she's shooting now. She shoots him with the stun gun. Doesn't work. He turns around and instead of just saying, "Let me just take care of this Jedi real quick." Swipe. No. He follows this, you know, random chick that has a blaster. It's like, why follow her? The Jedi are the better threat. F kill him. You've already killed a bunch of them. One more ain't going to hurt. He's on the ground defenseless. Yeah, just kill him and then chase her. No, he doesn't do that because, again, the plot needs Yord to live right now. So since the plot needs Yord to live, he decides to chase Osha who takes off and runs in one direction, and he does the slow Jason Voorhees follow. He doesn't run as well. He does the slow little Jason Voorhees walk, at least as far as we can say. You know, maybe he did the Jedi speed run or something. That would have been nice. That would explain a lot, okay? Because how did this guy catch up to her? And then look, she's running for a minute. She's running for a cool minute, you know, Going through the forest, she stops, considers her direction. She stopped for some reason. I don't know. Considering which way, which way. Okay, I'm going to go in this direction. And then he pops up, throws the lightsaber at her. And whoo, 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 you know, it's spinning through the air. And then Saul drops in to block it. Conveniently, he shows up at just the right time. Like, you should have been back when all these other guys is getting off the soul. Where the hell were you? So he blocks that. That's convenience number one. And then right behind him, as they're sitting there facing off, Soul, hey, May or uh, Osha's behind him. Soul is there. And then uh, Kamir is across the little field or whatever, this little area that they're in. Then Yord pops up. Wait a minute. Time out. How did Yord get here so damn fast? This guy had a bum leg. Did he walk here? Did he run here? Did he teleport? Because I, he got here super quick. But he needs to be there because Saul needs to say civilian to the ship. And that's the other thing. That's another convenience. OK, so that's convenience. Number two is that, oh, we need to, you know, have Yord in this scene, even though he just got struck in the leg with a with a saber and he's not limping or nothing. So he pops up and then now all of a sudden Osha is known as civilian to Seoul. We were talking about this on the stream. They've been calling this chick uh, Osha, 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 Osha. Soul has been saying Osha for the, f the for four straight episodes. All of a sudden, it's civilian to the ship. It's like, why is it that Osha? Take Osha to the ship right now. You know, now all of a sudden he's calling her a civilian. And maybe he's doing that on behalf of your your take her to the ship. But it's just so stupid the way it comes off. It's like, come on, guys. You know, why isn't she to Osha at this point? She's just a civilian. And he follows orders. He takes her to the ship. But then another convenience. All right. Hey, 
uh, we need to be back in the action because the plot demands that you die, Yord. So I need to somehow get you back to them instead of running to the ship. And we don't want to kill Saul and then have Kamir chase us. So we still have to keep Saul alive. But what reason could we possibly have for you to be back over here so you can die? Oh, I know. I'll have Osha tell um, Yord, hey, we need to go back. And then Yord's going to listen to the civilian. Yes, that's the kind of storytelling we're getting, folks. You're listening to the civilian instead of listening to his master who gave him a direct order. Yeah, now nah, I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to do what I want to do and then get myself killed in the process. That was the beauty of it. OK, at least he died. You know, at least we got a nice death. Broke his neck, snapo. You know, like good. All right, this idiot is out of the way. Now we can go on. <laughs> I, I mean, it's the dumbest writing you've ever heard of, and people will defend this crap. I don't know how, but people are going to defend this. All right, I was all during the stream. I was looking online to see, hey man, how many people are already clapping like baby seals for this nonsense? And there are absolute bunches of them. But it wasn't as bad. I was actually expecting this thing to hit fourteen percent when I came back today. Uh, but yeah, no, it's still at thirteen percent. But you do get the five star, five star, five star, four star, four star. They're gonna try their damnedest to get this thing up off that thirteen percent. I don't think it's gonna work. All right, I think this thing is dropping. Look at all the five stars. All right, there's a three star that slipped in, but all. Oh, this, oh my god, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Loving the show. We're blessed to have such great Star Wars. Again, you're going to get all of this crap, right? All of this crap. That's what you're going to get from these clowns out here in the mainstream and all the shills and the bots. Uh, but yeah, it's still sitting at a 13%. Look, this show is a dumpster fire of epic proportions. Um, the ending doesn't make any sense. The whole time, you're just sitting there trying to make sense out of nonsense, and you can't do it. That's the show, basically. Trying to see, okay, what does this mean? What, where, is, where is this going? You know? And please, for the love of God, don't include any more prequel-era characters. Get them guys out of there. There should be no more prequel-era characters in here, because now we're to the point where, okay... You're either going to start shitting on some characters that happened back in the day. Oh, that guy was obviously like, we already saw Kiati Mundi, you know, the Sith have been a Sith for a millennia. Well, it's a Sith. It's an actual Sith. He called himself a Sith. So that means that none of these people can live. Everybody has to die. And he killed a good many of them. Okay. We had some nice deaths. Thank you very much for getting rid of some of these morons. Thank you. We don't have to worry about any more plot conveniences from these guys, but there's still plenty of characters less. I'm just interested to see how bad this thing gets. But anyway, did you guys watch the Acolyte episode five? Again, I'll say it. It's the least shitty episode. Doesn't mean it ain't shit. It's still shit. But they did give us some stuff. They gave us some moments. They gave us a lightsaber battle that was at least not boring. You know, I'm not yawning and falling asleep on a lightsaber battle. So they did give us that. It's nowhere near Duel of the Fates. I don't know what these guys are smoking to think that they was going to outdo Duel of the Fates. And the main reason, again, folks, that they can't outdo some of those classic moments in Star Wars, those, some of those classic lightsaber battles, is because you have to have characters you care about in the lightsaber battle for it to mean something to us. We don't give a damn about what happens to these people. We don't care. We don't care about what happens. He could have killed Master Soul and I would have been, oh, well, I guess his secret because he has some sort of secret. I guess his secret's going to die with him. All right. Oh, oh, well, I don't care. I don't care about May. I don't care about Osha. I don't care about Kamir. I don't care about the little hedgehog. I don't care about any of these guys. I didn't certainly didn't care about Yord or Jackie or any of these other characters that died. Good. Get them off the screen. They're terrible. I, I, at least you used them as cannon fodder. All right for some lightsaber action, and you got him killed. And they both died in nice deaths, all right? Good deaths, solid deaths. I, again, I will give the episode its due for it being better than the other shit that we got, but it's still a shitty episode because it's just, again, a bunch of plot conveniences. Nothing makes any sense. This show is all over the place. They do whatever it is that they want to do just to get to the end of the line. That's it. That's all this show is, you know? And if Star Wars fans want that kind of storytelling, hey, you guys can have it. Now, to me, this is Disney Star Wars all day long. At the very least, you can say that. But anyway, folks, y'all let me know what y'all think about Star Wars The Acolyte Episode 5. Did you watch it? Give me your opinions. Drop down in the comments. Tell me what you think about that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.